Well, I lost a bet, and now I'm showcasing this Barbie the Movie collectible doll. But I have to admit, seeing this doll close up is actually very legit looking, especially how well they achieved Margot Robbie's likeness on the face skull. So let's go ahead and check out some of the details on this Barbie doll from the upcoming movie. Now I have to say this Barbie collectible doll looks fantastic. Never owning a Barbie before, I wasn't sure how well this would stand up, but using one of my ashen display stands sure does help keep this figure upright. First off, the head sculpt is actually pretty awesome compared to the Barbie figures that I've seen in stores in my opinion. I think Mattel here really nailed the facial features of Margot Robbie, the actress who plays Barbie in the upcoming movie. The hairstyle is on point and really keeps its shape. It's actually kind of impressive on how well this hair is placed on the figure's head and the staying power that it has. It's even very soft feeling to the touch. Now Barbie here even sports a solid pink bow ribbon on the top of her head. But in the movie trailer version, her bow should have been the same pink and white checker pattern seen in her gingham dress style. And in all honesty, I actually had to look at what gingham meant. Barbie here also gracefully dons some flower earrings, a necklace, and a bracelet, which can be seen in the movie trailer as she floats down from her dream home into her convertible, which these accessories look pretty spot on to the movie version in my opinion. The pink and white gingham dress is pretty much like the movie version. The coloring and style of the dress is pretty accurate to what Margot Robbie wears in the film. The only major difference is the doll version has a square white buckle at the waist while the movie version looks to be more circular. Now with my limited Barbie doll knowledge, I will say that the body and legs appear to be like most other Barbies, with graceful lines and shapes as well as those showcasing points of articulation in several areas, which I'll showcase the articulation in just a moment. And like all Barbies, she has that classic Barbie stance where only the balls of her feet touch the ground, which the movie trailer hilariously makes fun of. She also wears some pink heels or pumps or shoes, I don't know the term for them, but they seem to match the movie version. Now let's move on to the unboxing and articulation of this collectible Barbie the movie doll. Now this Barbie doll is pretty easy to unbox. It's just sealed up here with a little bit of tape which I've already pre-cut. You can already see it's already opening up. Just simply flip that back and pull the figure out like so. And you see Barbie is here in front of a nice art card of her Barbie dream house. There's a little bit of clear clamshell just holding her up so she stands up straight. But just a little bit of strapping right there as well as at her feet too. So give me one second to get this Barbie collectible ready to showcase to you. So let's go ahead and check out the articulation. So starting with her head, she spins around quite nicely as you can see. Got nice side tilt as well as tilting down and tilting up. Really good articulation, very smooth too. Head's also nice soft plastic so it's got a little squish. Even the earrings move about too which is really nice. And that hair, front part, is on point. Though the back side of the hair needs a little bit of work. It's been in the box for a little too long. <laughs> She's got a nice little necklace right here that is loose and can easily pop off and easily pop on. Now, on for her arms. She's got a nice good T motion and the shoulders spin around really nicely, very smoothly. Elbows go in really nice. Very smooth, a little bit of backwards, a little odd looking, but still look really great. And they spin around. How awesome is that? Very cool. As for the wrist, they go inward and they go outward. Really nice. Bracelet is itself removable too. Pops off really easily and pops on very easily too. Put her arms up. See if she's got any torso articulation? Nope, pretty hard solid plastic right there. As for the legs, not much of a split, just about that. Let's see if there's any, just move her that up a little bit, if there's any hip rotation. And there is a little bit actually, so not too bad. She can kick back really nicely. That's actually a really cool pose. And she can kick forward some. As for the knees, they go back really nicely and nice rotation right there. For the feet, they are solid. And as you can see, I don't have her shoes on, which look like these, because they can easily fall off. They go on pretty nicely, but with just a little minor effort, they pop off really quickly. So 
if you do end up letting your kids play with this, um, these are probably gonna be the first thing that they lose, so. But, for a Barbie doll, my first experience with one of these, I'm really quite surprised on the articulation. Really nicely done. I almost forgot to showcase this, but at the bottom of her feet, there are no display hole stands. So using a display stand will be out that requires a insert format. But you could use a display stand like this that will connect to her waist in order to get her to stand up for posing. So let's go ahead and check out how tall this Barbie doll is. Now the Mattel website doesn't give you the height to Barbie, but at first glance, I'd say she's about a foot tall. But let's put the ruler to her. Turns out, Barbie here comes out to be 11 and a half inches tall. Since I don't have any other additional Barbie dolls on me, here is this Barbie, the movie collectible doll, next to other action figures that I own to give you a sense of scale. I wonder which one of these action figures would Barbie choose to date? The Barbie packaging here sure is pretty in pink, which makes sense as that is the iconic color for Barbie. The Barbie the movie collectible doll is in full display on the front behind clear plastic. As mentioned earlier, she looks pretty much spot on to what I see in the movie trailer version. Also a nice touch is having Barbie stand in front of her dream house, which is a graphic used on the art card. There's also the Barbie logo in a nice foil print with a shooting star at the bottom. The packaging sides, both left and right, are basically the same, just having the top and bottom graphics reversed with the movie logo in the center. The back side has the movie logo at the top and the movie image of Margot Robbie as Barbie in her pink convertible car in a blue outfit. Again, I'm still super impressed with how Mattel captured a lot of Margot Robbie's facial features here on this collectible Barbie doll. Kudos to you, Mattel. Well, let's move on to my pros and cons opinions on this collectible Barbie doll. The pros, fandom. Now, if you enjoy collecting Barbie dolls or a fan of the current Barbie movie, if not both, this is sure going to be a Barbie doll you're going to want to add to your collection to display your fandom. The sculpt. I can't stress this enough on how awesome Mattel did on getting the actress Margot Robbie's likeness on this Barbie doll. Plus, I am really impressed with how well this doll moves and articulates. Movie accurate. For the most part, I think this doll is pretty Barbie movie accurate to its look, clothing, and accessories. The cons. The shoes. I only have one gripe about this doll and it's those shoes. They look great, but man is it a pain that they keep falling off of her with just the slightest of movement. I have to admit, I'm actually super impressed on how well this Barbie doll is. Being that's my first one, maybe only, who knows, there could be a new segment on this show. But how well she looks, how well she moves, she is super legit. So here's my favorite part of the show, giving a special shout out to the following nerd amazing fans who left a comment in the last review episode. So. Special shout out to The Horror Cat Dad, Zook One, Bravo 1701, and Fred Hall Direct Edition. Thank you guys so much and keep being nerd amazing. So, wanna check out more collectibles like this? Or maybe this is more your style. Well, thanks for joining me here at Nerd Amazing. And as always, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.